advanced Giroux activity called Pick All Flowers, our goal is to create a Giroux in the top left corner and have it systematically cover every square on the board, picking flowers wherever they're present. Our rules for doing this are that each square can only be visited once, and we only want to try to pick flowers where they are actually present. Let's have a look at the finished product in action. To solve this problem, we're going to be making extensive use of nested if statements as well as some Boolean operators that we learned earlier. One way we can solve the problem of covering every square on the board exactly once is by going in a zigzag pattern. After starting in the top left, we can program the Giroux to cover every square going to the right, and then when we get to the water, we can turn, go one down, and then go back towards the left. By continuing this zigzag pattern till we get to the bottom right corner, we can look for flowers on every single square on the board. Let's have a look at this Giroux, which is already approaching the corner, and ask ourselves, how can we get it to turn when it gets to the water? Let's have a look at this simple while structure that contains two if statements. The first one tells the Jeru if there's water ahead to turn. Otherwise, if the path is clear, the Jeru simply hops. Let's take a few runs at this particular loop and see what happens. You can see that as the Jeru hit the water, we got it to turn right. But there's a problem with this approach, because there are two different cases when we hit the water. First, we might be approaching the water from the left. Alternatively, if the Jeru happens to be going left, we'll be wa approaching the water from the right-hand side. We need to make the Jeru turn in a different direction if the Jeru is facing east versus if the Jeru is facing west. We can take care of that by putting one if statement inside the other. Notice here that we have inserted this second if statement inside the first. So now, as the water is reached, the Jeru, if it's already facing east, or to the right, will know to turn right, whereas if the Jeru happens to reach the water on this side, it will instead turn to the left. Let's run this code now and see how well it works. We see that the Jeru does successfully turn when it gets to the water, but the problem now is that it's continuing to head south. We need to add some additional code now so that when the Jeru is facing south, that it makes an additional turn. That way the Jeru is always going to the left or to the right. We're not going to show you how to do that here because we believe we've given you enough hints to be able to, for you to solve the rest of the problem on your own. The other hard part to this problem, as is always the case, is to get the Jeru to stop when it gets to the final square and not have it fall into the water.